Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. USAF races to recruit drone pilots. Amazon drones, a crashing good deal. And UK's Angel accelerating ADSB rollout. Hi, I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. USAF races to recruit drone pilots. The United States Air Force and the Drone Racing League have apparently expanded their efforts to accelerate the recruiting and training of drone pilots in the hopes of supplying new talent to the USAF. For the past five seasons, the USAF has renewed its partnership with the DRL, capitalizing on the latter's expertise in marketing and attracting talent for its annual first-person view drone racing competitions, where drones equipped with cameras livestream video feed, bringing the remote viewer into the action. The DRL has built a following through the use of its complex race courses in stadiums around the world as they compete in elimination heats. The DRL's expertise in delivering immersive content and visually stunning races on sports networks around the world, particularly the top crashes, close finishes, and pilot reactions, is sure to draw in the next generation of drone top guns. As part of the recruiting effort, DRL Arcade Mobile is staging a Military Appreciation Month tournament with prizes to the top 75 finishers to commemorate the USAF's 75th year as a military branch. And after the break, pilotless airplane makes 14th hole. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. Pilotless Airplane Makes 14th Hole Not normally a topic for an Uncrewed program, a normally manned Belanca Citabria, a single-engine tail-dragger airplane, departed the Schlenker Airport some three miles south of the city of Medicine Hat in Alberta, Canada, and crash-landed into a house that was under construction near the 14th hole of a nearby golf course. The airplane was apparently undergoing maintenance by its owner, and once the engine started, he said, quote, it just took right off without him or anyone else. Uncrewed, indeed. Surf Air Mobility on a Growth Splurge Surf Air Mobility has gone public with a multitude of deals and signings announced. Surf Air signed an exclusive agreement with Aerotech and Magnix to accelerate the development of electrified commercial aircraft. In this deal, the SOT development and certification of hybrid and fully electric powertrains for new and retrofitting existing Cessna C208 Grand Caravan aircraft in an effort to reduce operating costs and emissions while improving affordability. These aircraft will of course be used by Surf Air, but also their third-party operators. Boeing Starliner docks to station for cargo and test stops. Despite a litany of problems and failures, Boeing CST-100 Starliner spacecraft successfully docked to the International Space Station's Harmony module at 8.28 p.m. EDT. Starliner launched on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket on a flight test to the International Space Station at 6.54 p.m. on Thursday, May 19th, 
from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Starliner is scheduled to depart the space station Wednesday, May 25th, when it will undock and return to Earth with a desert landing in the western U.S. Aero TV at AUVSI 2022. Easy aerial, tether, or pursue. In another of our video features from AUVSI's Expo 22, we spoke to Easy Aerial's Tuvi Cohen, Vice President of Enterprise Programs, about their Drone in a Box, a fully autonomous system that consists of three main components, the Nest Ground Station, Drone, and the proprietary software that operates the entire system. The system box measures 56 by 56 by 24.4 inches and weighs 231 and a half pounds. The idea is that it can integrate into any existing system. It can contribute to different industries, such for example the rails, we do public safety, we do agriculture, and major infrastructures and industrial sites. Check it out at aero-news.net. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Amazon drones, a crashing good deal? Amazon received Part 135 Air Carrier Certification in August 2020. In June 2021, an Amazon Prime Air drone crashed in eastern Oregon, sparking a 25-plus acre fire. Another test flight weeks later resulted in a crash when the drone's motors failed in flight, causing it to hurdle 150-plus feet to the ground. The MK-27 drones that they seem to favor weigh almost 90 pounds and have the potential to cause significant injury or possibly death to the unwitting. Over the course of four months, they were crashing a drone a month, and at one point cleaning up the site before the investigator arrived. In another instance, allegedly stating to investigators that they were looking into the crashes themselves and didn't really see the need for federal eyes. For some time now, Amazon has been trying to push through the front lines to reach your doorstep and drop off packages by drone. As far as the realists are concerned, the drone delivery project is still in the research and development stage, as they've been beset with technical challenges, safety issues, and an apparent inability to live up to their self-proclaimed hype. It's alleged that the DDP has burned through over $2 billion, which may be a lot to some, but apparently not to them. And after these messages, UK's Angel accelerating ADSB rollout. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available on the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. UK's Angel accelerating ADSB rollout. Altitude Angel, a unified traffic management technology provider, announced the planned deployment of aviation grade airborne dependent surveillance broadcast sensors to create a broader network of ADSB data. The effort seeks to build on technologies that are incorporated into solutions and also enable integration of automated drones into the UK airspace. Altitude Angel, a UK-based company, stated that the existing ADSB network built with established suppliers and new entrants does not address automated flight, nor is it optimized for low-altitude, low-latency applications, and it's their goal to fill that gap by blending or fusing data from those sources in real time, correlate and provide assurance to those seeking to rely on that positional information by highlighting traffic that are not visible on any single channel. In essence, there should be no surprises from incognito traffic. If the solution is robust enough to establish an accurate moving map of ADSB compliant and non-compliant entities. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.